Hi, my name is Dr. Lindsay Zabritsky, and I'm a board-certified dermatologist. Today, I want to go over with you how to appropriately use a topical retinoid. are commonly prescribed in dermatology for a variety of conditions, most commonly for acne, but many people do use it as an anti-aging regimen. Topical retinoids are safe to use except during pregnancy and breastfeeding. Topical retinoids are very effective and one of the dermatologist's favorite treatments to help with anti-aging and acne. Topical retinoids can be difficult to use at first. If you're not using it appropriately, many people cannot tolerate it and eventually discontinue it due to side effects. Some of the side effects include dryness, irritation, and redness. If you really want to be able to tolerate a retinoid, listen to the following tips. First and foremost, you do not want to overly and aggressively apply your retinoid. I only recommend using a pea size amount at first, and I only recommend using it about two to three nights per week when you start. Low and slow is the name of the game. You don't want to overuse this. As you begin, to tolerate the retinoid, you can bump up and increase to three to four times a week and ultimately nightly as tolerated. Another tip that works is to wait about 20 minutes after washing your face to apply the retinoid. When your face is wet and damp, it soaks up more of the retinoid, which can lead to more irritation and dryness. Always follow your retinoid up with a moisturizer. Sometimes if you double the moisturizer, it helps even more. I call this a retinoid sandwich. So apply the moisturizer, then the retinoid, then another moisturizer. Be careful in the sun because retinoids can make you more photosensitive. If you still can't tolerate a retinoid, I recommend applying the retinoid, letting it sit on the skin for about 20 or 30 minutes, and then rinsing it off. If this still doesn't work, try starting with retinol or adapalene, which is a little bit weaker and more easy to tolerate. Mm -hmm. 